Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. First Century Steam Engine There lived in Egypt in the first century AD, a scientist, engineer, mechanic, mathematician and simply a genius, Heron of Alexandria. He invented, for a moment, bending machines for holy water, automatic doors for temples, a distance meter, a fire pump, fountains, and a steam engine. The device was a cauldron of water, a fire was built under it, the water boiled, and the steam gushed out and spun the device. Modern replicas made according to Jiren's drawings, were spun up to 3,500 rpm. The level of technology and scientific thought was such, that official science could only reach the steam engine anew in the 19th century. Throughout the world, there are voids, caves and catacombs, in one way or another, connected to each other. New entrances and branches are constantly being found. Many caves connected to each other, are in the Middle East, China, Iran, India, Europe, Afghanistan, USA, Russia and many other countries. By results of the carried out expeditions of researches of the underground world, it has appeared that directly under our feet, there are thousands of tunnels which we do not even suspect. Through these tunnels, can go to any country, on any continent. Tunnels that run not only under the surface of the earth, but also under the seas and oceans, according to many scientists, are created with the help of high technology that is inaccessible to us in the 21st century. Tunnels are not just hand dug, but as if burnt out, as can be seen on the molten walls. Physicist, Lester Hendershaw, created generators with no visible source of energy, and he was immediately accused of quackery. Lester took the public's reaction into account, and by 1960, in addition to two new generators, gave out 56 pages of documentation, explaining to humanitarians that the Earth is a giant magnet, which every day is able to give mankind hundreds of billions of volts. After the public documentation of the devices, explaining how to use the power of the Earth for free and efficiently, a beautiful thing begins. Dr. Hotstetter bought the invention, and died suddenly in a train wreck the only passenger who died during the accident. A couple of years later, Hendershot is found dead in his house, and it is impossible to say whether it was suicide or something else, because for some reason, the investigation into the cause of death was never carried out. In fact, as in the case of other deaths of inventors engaged in the production of free energy. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The two sculptures have a lot in common. They were created around the same time, on different continents, about 500 to 600 AD. In Hindu mythology, Maya, or Mayasura, was the great ancient king of the Asuras, Ditiyas and Rakshasas. He was the chief architect of the lower worlds. Indian scholars believe that Asura Maya Danawa is the same character who created the Mayan calendar and gave the people astronomical knowledge.
1592, the bad Japanese Admiral Hideyoshi attacked Good Korea. The Korean, Lee Soon Shin, was 263 years ahead of his time, creating iron-clad, or armored ships, with iron spikes for ramming. The ends don't add up very well here. The authors of the legend do not know what it means to armor an entire ship. Let's not ask where they got tons of metal when half of Korea is already occupied by the bloodthirsty Japanese. How is this iron made? By blacksmith's hand and sledgehammer, not enough blacksmiths, after all 400 square meters of armor for one ship, and there were about 30 of them in the fleet. All elements of armor should be strictly standard, a couple of errors in thickness and the ship will be unbalanced, and the parts were fitted to the shape and place with a file. Comrade archaeologists show to the curious public the ruins of a medieval Korean metallurgical plant. And the open hearth furnaces as well, because it would take a long time to forge such a number of parts from raw iron. Giant's Femur in the late 1950s, road construction in southeastern Turkey in the Euphrates Valley excavated a series of burials with giant-sized remains. In two, femur bones, about 120 centimeters long, were found. Joe Taylor, director of the Fossil Museum in Crosbyton, Texas, USA, conducted the reconstruction. The possessor of a femur of the size was about 14 to 16 feet tall, or about 5 meters, and had a foot size of 20 to 22 inches, almost half a meter. When walking, his toes were 6 feet above the ground. Pakistani Sphinx an object that has already been dubbed the Second Sphinx was found in Pakistan. Immediately, there were those who believe that this object is a natural formation. According to one version, its head is a portrait of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh who reigned 4,500 years ago. Sphinx means Egyptian. Somehow it is hard to believe that the pharaoh decided to reassign himself as someone else's pyramid keeper. To consider the Pakistani Sphinx a natural formation, a simple coincidence of forms would be possible if its head had no obvious traces of machining. And the rock under its base is characterized by flat symmetric columns and step treatment of niches. A coincidence. Two objects next to the traces of processing rules out any possibility that this is a natural formation. It remains to convince the scientific community they have enough of the problematic Sphinx in Egypt. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.